After that, Mashiro's match finishes in short order and Asuka's turn, right? Wait, we're just, we're just keeping Mashiro's match? Why? <laughs> okay, but looks like Asuka's match is next and the opponent is definitely going to be Satoi. 100%, right? It's, it's gotta be, it's gotta be. Yeah, the rematch is gonna happen. <laughs> It's good that you're excited, but don't overdo it. Your shoulders are all stiff. Yeah, you should, you know, relax. Yeah? Want me to touch your shoulders? To show how stiff they are? <laughs> yeah, it's important to the spot. Take a few deep breaths and loosen up. Right? For a second, I thought she was like floating or something, <laughs> levitating. Again, Moikai. Good deep breaths. Now dangle your arms and rotate your shoulders around. No, not good enough. Hmm, still stiff. It's just a practice match. There's no reason for you to be so nervous. Unless you're up against Satoin. Well, you say that, but your heart says otherwise. Oh, come on, who are you trying to fool? You weren't that nervous when you faced Satoin-san, right? And you won't ever do that if you get nervous. You can't pull off any quick moves with a stiff body. Doesn't seem to be working though. Your opponent is a speeder. All you need to do is intercept her and nullify her speed. So a speeder, huh? So it's not Satoi. Actually, what role is Satoi in again? Not quite sure. We know that. Wait, we know that uh, Shindo is an all rounder. Is Satoi an all rounder too? I don't think she's a fighter. Yeah. I guess so. I guess she's probably an all rounder too. Hi. Otoshimasu. <laughs> Yeah, like, like follow in the footsteps of Jindo. Oh, oh, her opponent is Rika. Okay, that that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I thought it'd be Satoi. I mean, Satoi also makes sense, but against Rika, that makes sense too. Rika is a speeder, yeah. Right. Yeah, we're good to go. Right, it's Asuka versus Rika. Asuka's opponent is Rika Ishinose. <coughs> Ishinose flies ahead first. Uh, this is going to be a true test of how good Asuka is. And we'll, we'll also get to see how good Rika is. We know that she has great potential, but this is the match where we're definitely going to see just how good Rika is. Alright, off you go. I send Asuka off with a clap on her back. This is her first real practice match. Expecting her to not feel nervous is asking for the boss of her. Yes, Yoroshiku onegaishimasu! As we officially begin our, the second practice match. Oh wow, both of them look, of them look so happy. But when it comes to the match itself, just how serious will both of them be? I'm excited for this match. Eventually, the whistle that signals the start of the match resounds. Oh, what? Oh, so wait. Okay. Um. Okay, Rika is the one with the with the uh, bluish white streaks, right? Yeah, she has, she's the one that has purple hair, and Asuka is over there with the red streaks. Hmm, that's an interesting. That's this is what you call a low yo-yo, right? <laughs> she knows it tilts her body downward and makes for second with a low yo-yo. And Asuka tries to keep up with her. An all-rounder versus a speeder. Hey! Asuka's red shoes have a standard all-rounder setting. Maybe she would have a shot if they had speeder to tuning, but that's not the case here. So so it's a kind of a mistake for her to try to catch up with Rika? 
to suffer before it's too late. Asuka, you can't win her contest of speed. I'm down. Alright, right. Let's take another good look at Asuka right here. Yes, with a, a bit of the slight side cleavage. I forgot to comment the same thing for Rika, but we'll see that soon enough. <laughs> side, side boobies are good, yeah. Side boobies, not side cleavage. Side boobies. You need to jump to the second line right away. Yeah, uh, yeah. So jump to the second line right here before Rika comes here. Asuka proceeds to the second line. And she really is all tanks. It'd be real bad if Ichinose interpreted what Asuka did as a plan to provoke her. Mm. I wonder if Rika is that sort of person. I mean, she is good, right? So she would like. But I don't know she, if she would like play dirty or something like that. Or like resort to any trick possible to win, even if it. I mean, if it, even if it's despicable, I can picture saying, I see, you're a second who was took so low, huh? After everything said that. Nah, she's not that type. Come on now. Rika is definitely not that type. Oh shit, shit. Oh yeah, Rika is serious now. And yes, we get to see Rika's side who be right here. <laughs> I mean, you know, all the fan service, right? <laughs> this is this is perfect fan service right here, right? Okay. Yes. We we that that's part of why I enjoy playing Alcana. Of course because of the <laughs> because of the fan service. I thought I'm glad, you know, the creator had this kind of outfits for the girls, yes. <laughs> I mean scored a point by touching first because it uses the repellent force from the touch to accelerate. Interesting. Omoshiroi. She definitely is a bad guy. Feels like she entered the time of a low yo yo about a second too early. The acceleration game was fairly minimal because she misjudged the anger when she touched the boy. Mm. So it seems like. I mean, I'm sure Rika is definitely more experienced than Asuka. But she, I guess Rika is still learning. Feels to me like she has a bad habit of getting impatient in critical situations. Right? Asuka waits at the center of the second line for Ishinose. Stay calm. Remember, you need to get to where she's going, not where she is. Uh, hi. Yeah, get to her destination, not not where she is currently. Oh, what's this? This looks like an interesting maneuver. Okay, yeah, because Rika seems like she's going for the center boy? Yeah, or something like that. And then Rika, after going this to the second line, she starts to make a 180 degree turn and then towards Rika. Ichinose proceeds to climb gently. Asuka also climbs in response. It would be great if she managed to intercept her, but I doubt it's going to be that easy. Look, let's see what Rika does here. Ichino say banks right for climbing. Asuka responds to that by tilting forward and accelerating. Oh no, it might be a trap. Might be a trap. Ah, sasemasen! Oh, what's that? After luring Asuka over to the right, Ichino say twists her body and dives left instead. Oh, see? That's why I say it's a trap. So going right then suddenly bends left and then back right again. The result of spans up flying away from her. Then she twists her body and attempts to follow Chinose but loses the balance. Because Asuka is going too fast. <laughs> With that, Chinose outruns Asuka at second point. Spread out your arms and legs for taking deep breath. Then I just jump to the third line. Forget about catching her for now. Go! It's only scored 2 points, you're not too far behind, so keep calm. He's probably feeling pretty disappointed. Or not! <laughs> huh? For some reason, she's all hyped up. I 
means she's learning and she's having fun learning. Yeah. Goes to show. Well, one thing we definitely know about Asuka is that she has a very positive set. I mean, she's kind of a klutz, you know, but that's I guess that's part of her charm as well. And yeah, that in a way is a good thing as well because being a klutz means you tend not to get disappointed as easily as you know, most others. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> It's true, like, clues tend to be like, you know, like, the kind of like, happy-go-lucky kind. So in a way, it's good, though. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> but, but I, I guess it, ignorance is bliss is kind of the wrong context, but you get what I mean. It's like, yeah, you have got, it's good to have a positive mindset, even when you, you seem, it seems like you're losing a lot, right? When you know you're losing, but it's always good to think in a positive way, yeah. And yeah, like you learn from your mistakes and such, and you're enjoying yourself learning from mistakes. Of course, not everyone can do that, but still. What do you mean? <laughs> Asuka is actually thinking of the future already. <laughs> well, that's cool and all, Asuka, but don't, don't get too ahead of yourself. <laughs> I see. But good to see that she's having fun. I mean, best that yeah, she can say something like that when she's losing. Yeah, not everyone can do this. You know? but everyone can have a positive mindset like her. They make sure to have a lot more fun. She knows it touches third right as Asuka reaches the middle of the third line. The score is zero two. She knows it slants downward. Guessing she wants to gain speed with a low yo yo. She must think Asuka's all busted and all balanced by now, which will make us rushing past her quite easy. But, well, <laughs> uh, Asuka is going to prove Rika wrong. Anticipate when she start the time. Hi. Oh shit. That's really quick though. That's a really quick. Fast. That's a uh, high. Yeah, high ascent right there. Yeah. Asuka starts to move and to where Ichinose sets the ascent, but Ichinose suddenly does a steep climb in response. Yeah. Oh, this guy is freaking out. Well, I mean, Asuka, it's cool that you're having fun, but you gotta learn what you're doing wrong, no? <laughs> yeah? Just having fun is not enough. Because Asuka moved her body in a weird way to go after Chino Station and start losing her balance again. Damn, she's ruthless, we can't yet. So wait, ruthless isn't the right word here. She's simply giving it everything she's got. Normally, speeders don't make use of such reckless speed times because they result in rapid drop speed, which is their main win condition. However, that type of movement is extremely effective against. So, are you saying that Rika is bullying <laughs> Asuka right now? After all, most beginners tend to chase after their opponent the spur of the moment, which leads to a loss of balance. You gain your balance, then fly over to the fourth line. And, like, stop being so trigger happy. <laughs> like, don't, like, immediately react, you know, on first instinct, no. Careful out there, make sure you don't lose your balance. No, you can't get the hang of it, you gotta get it. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? But but then again, the fact that she's saying that she's getting the hang of it means does that mean she's learning Ichino State's pattern already? She's learning Rika's pattern and then she has kinda of like found a way to like yeah the on the way to like counter her. Yeah. Huh? What do you, what do you mean? Alright. She's letting her body do the talking, alright? I believe in you. She knows it touches four. Okay. The score is now zero three. This time Ichinose is flying straight along the fourth line approaching Asuka direct. 
There's no way she's going to collide with Asuka, so it's safe to assume she turn at some point. But what Asuka said earlier, snapping her body to her instinct. Like, like what she did before against Satoin, yeah. That was definitely pure instinct, right? <laughs> that time when she did that. That crazy stun, yeah. I forgot what it's called. I'm guessing she means she's realized that Ishinose is in pain in this part. Well, beginners often end up in a worse position than when they started when they try to count things. I should stop her by ruining her concentration up to just make things worse. Let her do a thing. And as they say, there are some things you can only learn to experience. So I'll keep quiet here and hope that she learns a valuable lesson. Allow you to take the lead? You're already in the lead! <laughs> She knows she starts to fly the scissors. Yeah, I'm seeing it, the zigzag. Turning left and right as she closes in on Asuka. Asuka seems to be doing the same too. The scissors. And she's really just doing things to throw, doing things that throw off beginners. Asuka was standing in Shinose's way, flounders left and right as she almost loses her balance. Hey! Touch! Oh, nice! Yes. <laughs> Okay, one thing I can definitely see about Rika, uh, or other Asuka's potential is that she has the ability to see through her opponent. Yeah, like at first don't understand her opponent, but gradually, once she understands her opponent, she can she can do really well. Actually. Yeah, like like what's happening now? Huh? Asuka almost intercepts Ishinose. Ishinose managed to dodge, but it has bad with steep time, but. After her! Hi. Oh, here she comes! Zeno says speed is down due to the scissors and speed time. Oh, it's not as good as that of fighters. The initial velocity of all rounders is also pretty instant. Yeah, it's all, all average, right? There's a very real chance for us to come catching her in this situation. Very close, very close. Asuka closes the distance between her and Chinose. Can she catch up? Chinose enters the low yo yo to try to shake her off, but Asuka follows. It's all over if she tries and fails to catch Chinose now. It'd be nice to let her get feel for chasing her opponent, but it's important to teach her when to give up as well. Mm. She was really close there. Jump to the first line. Oh yeah, she just says hi, without questioning. Masaya, that's why you call a very good girl. <laughs> yes, very good girl, yes, very obedient. Oh, I see. Guess I was wrong. Asuka hasn't realized Ichinose is doing pain. She's letting her body to do the talking I said. So she's actually come to understand something far more basic. Namely how to regain her balance with that. Does that mean she only just figured out during this match? I guess things like that do happen, but... Look to the side. Huh? Masaya is angry? Wait, hold on. Angry, really? Uh... Wait, who is she talking? Oh, I think she's talking to Rika. But uh, anger? I think it's not anger, more like frustration, right? <laughs> Looks like Satoin Sun is coming, she does say down. So clearly what just happened was a surprise to her as well. Yeah. It's not anger. Like what what that this translation is weird, it's not anger. <laughs> why why would why why would Ishinose be angry? <laughs> it's more like like plaster. Yeah, more like plaster, because it's like took her by surprise, so it's like, she's getting flustered and all. Yeah, because, uh, Satoni said, Kofun. But Kofun is not really angry, or, or what. It's more like, they are flustered. Yeah. But I don't know, like, what? Quick to anger, but what, what anger? <laughs> Asuka, carefully watch Ishizuno say swipe path until the last second. There's no need to rush. You've got to su suppress any urge to move. Very good girl, Asuka, I like you. <laughs> I 
much like on the fourth line, she's rushing straight to Sasuka. Only difference is there are no scissors this time. She might do a feint too, not sure. The plan is to shake Asuka off with pure speed or not. Trying to shake her off with pure speed. Ichinose uses a light paint, or she still uses a light paint. Asuka doesn't even twitch. I'm honestly surprised she can stay so still just because I told her to. That's why she's she's the great puppy. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Ichinose turns right. Oh. Another pain? Ichinose spreads out her arms and legs, then enters a high yo yo. In other words, she goes into a steep climb, which means slowing down. Right? Oh, wait, she's actually above Asuka now. Is she going to touch Asuka? That successfully drops the speed, which means Asuka overshoot and pass. and pass below Ichinose. Her back is now fully exposed. Oh, yeah, shit. Damn, they got us! Yalarita! I didn't expect her to go for Asuka's back instead of the boy. Is Sato Insan thinking of this strategy? Or more like Rika thought of this strategy, right? Because I don't remember Sato Insan saying anything about this strategy, new strategy. And I really wanted her to score at least one point to build up her confidence. I think she's still... I don't know if she's feeling confident. I don't... She's more like having... Asuka is more like having fun than, than, than being confident, right? <laughs> so... Oh no, wait. She's in this position. Does does that mean do you guys think what I think this is? <laughs> is she going to do the same stun she did against Satuin to get one point? Oh no, if that's the case, holy shit. Let's see it. Asuka curse up and here we go. Huh? Okay? This is her specialty already. Yeah, this is a specialty move already, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, second time. Don't know if this is the second time she's put off or is this a brand new move or what? She seemingly kicks off air, jetting in the opposite direction as a result. It seems like the same stun she did before, right? Air kick turn? Yeah. Yeah, the, the same air kick turn she did before, right? She seems really skilled at doing this. Isn't as clean as in a match against Satwin. Yeah, she's doing it again. But still, it's enough to make Ishinose's hand claw and empty air. Empty air. Well, she's she's skilled at doing this. That's for sure. <laughs> well, Masaya didn't teach you epic turn, though. <laughs> Masai, I think you should really teach, you know, teach, <laughs> teach Asuka more of this air kick turn. I think because I think she definitely has the massive potential to master it, right? Ichinose has now missed her target, shoots past Asuka, exposing her back to her opponent. Hey! Hey! Oh, Asuka touches Ichinose's back. Oh, one point to... Yeah, one point to Asuka! She's got one point. Okay, as time for Satoin to say don't get plastered again. Oh, what, what, what mistake? Ichinose uses the repellent force from us. Asuka touching her back to make for second. Oh. Well, it's fine though. Asuka would have gotten the chance to score even more points if she touched Ichinose from the but it didn't work out that way. Seems like she touched her such that it pushed, pushes her to, to a boy. No, you did great. Now jump to the second line. Hi. Uh, after that, Asuka fails to keep up with Ichinose's speed and lets her score again and again by touching boys, bringing the score to 1 6 by the end. Well, she did great doing that air kick turn. Yeah, definitely caught Rika by surprise, but yeah, in terms of fundamentals and such. She definitely still has a lot of work to do. Yeah, Asuka still has a lot of work to do, but the air kick turn is definitely impressive. But yeah, she she's definitely still has a lot of work. Hmm.
Well, you know, you, you saw Asuka's potential, yes? What do you think? The end of our three day training camp has arrived, which means now we just have to pack up and head on home. Oh, just like that, we're going back home. No one seems to want to part with all the new fans they made. And honestly, I'm in, in the exact same boat. Kochirakoso, likewise. Agreed. I'm sure all my players are a lot more motivated now. So that. Hmm. Apologize to Obisawa. Who's Obisawa again? <laughs> well, I don't want to face her after all the bullying. Oh, Misaki, right? <laughs> What's up? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was just trying to bring Misaki's potential to the surface. And frankly, seeing that has has me wanting to get her to take FC seriously. We're on, we're, we're on the right track. Yeah. I now apologize. Though I doubt she's holding a grudge for anything. Well, I mean, she did get it. She, yeah, she did say that you were trying to like provoke me to try to push me, right? Yeah. So she understands. But for real? <coughs> Maybe Misaki's got a competitive side to her after all. Well, I guess she just needs a push, basically, right? Yeah. She just she just needs she just needs someone to provoke her. Yeah, so Masa, if you if we want Misaki to keep improving, you have to provoke her. <laughs> Challenge her. Asuka too, yeah. She looks and directs his eyes in a certain direction as, she, as he says that. And when I turn to where he's looking, I see... Huh? Looks like Mashiro is the sad case. Nobody's looking at Mashiro. <laughs> they are all only looking at Misaki or Asuka. But Mashiro... That is sad. So how will Mashiro's potential be realized? That's the big question now. And of course nobody look at... Uh, uh, at, at best, yeah, Sean, nobody look, nobody's looking at him. Damn, you've got good years. Emotion for her to leave in my hand. Private combo. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> Luckily, Asuka gives in to my demand. Guess she understands that this is a private conversation. <laughs> I am her coach. None of this will work if we didn't trust each other. Not like I'm doing anything special to develop our relationship, though. Hmm. Interesting. Kido-san sees something special in Asuka as well, huh? And say I disagree. Though, unfortunately, she's a lot more raw than even Misaki. True. She still has, she has a lot more to learn than Misaki. Hmm. There's no special reason, I swear. Sate, I sat no ato got skyter you the she. Oh, Satoin? Oh, and Rika? Huh? Rika, I think it's Rika, yeah. Yeah. She's sorry, she's sorry. <laughs> but we'll meet again, I mean, we're, we're neighbors. Well, yeah, I certainly feel someone's eyes on me now. Was she hiding? I mean, she's feeling guilty, I get it, but. <laughs>君が彼女たちにどんな翼を与えるのか楽しみだよ。うん、ナイス。あ。夏の大会でまた会おう。オールライト。シドさんとつらアフタースピーキングアドスパーティングウェイ。おほん。うん。Can we but right now, I really want to take the lead and return his friendly gesture. Or gesture. Yorokonde. Yoroko, yeah, Yorokonde. You shake hands before you fight. If Shindo-san gone next up is Rika, come here. Come here, Rika, let's shake hands. Or let's hug. 
Hey! Okay, let's shake hands, Satori. Then, after we shake hands, then excuse me. <laughs> Satori san? Alright, it's my pleasure. Aku? Chindo san already said all this. I mean, she has to say a piece too, no? <laughs> As the vice president. Wait, was the other person Chindo san mentioned, Satori san? No, it's it is Rika. Just Sato Kun. Sato Yin, is it? The job. Kongo no schedule ni tsuite, sko shi soudan ga aru nda. Yeah, she's pulling Sato out of here. <laughs> so that Rika can talk to Masaya. Mo matchi kudasai. Watakushi wa ima fukubucho toshite kansha no go aisetsu shite iru tokoro desu kara. No, I really see my. Jino has really see his peace. シュシュ。カキュウなんだ。佐藤君の意見をお聞きしたかったんだが。佐藤いいんです。すみません。慌ただしくなりますが、これで。オーライ、アウシーアゲン、佐藤イン。おお、オッケー。アンソーコンフュー
You should not say say it to me, and I will respond in kind, which makes both of us feel a whole lot better. Oh wait. I just take a look, another look at her. I, I actually I've just noticed like this wing on her, on her. I think it was explained before, but I can't remember. But this this eagle wing, it's like some kind of a badge or something like. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a bad. I mean, it's a badge here, yeah, but I'm not sure if it's just her own decoration or what. Yeah, just something she likes to wear or something. But it looks cool. Yeah, the the badge, the eagle badge. Just so we're clear, I'm not thanking you for what happened yesterday. <laughs> she initially doesn't get what I mean, and just a hate and confusion, but after a few seconds. She flushes straight and the meaning of my words hit her, hits her. Yeah, you, you dumb Masai, why are you still bringing that up? If I had to set things straight. I will sound like a total creep. <laughs> Besides, you haven't forgiven me yet. <laughs> Jino says something brings her face close to mine, knows her voice. Right, can't have anyone overhearing you. <laughs> but why do you need her forgiveness? I think she has already accepted you. No need, no need for her forgiveness, okay? <laughs> Alright, alright. Okay, alright, we'll take it as that, yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do you want me to? <laughs> I'm sure you guys know for those who are into anime and such, when this, when she says something like take responsibility, it means in a. Yeah, you know? <laughs> That's not sure, where? Huh? <laughs> Do you want me to? Sure, sure, it's figurative, yes. Figure of speech, yes. Right. That scared me. <laughs> Be cool, stop. She don't say that's a little giggle, seemingly mocking my lack of response. That's very true, but it's not. It, it's all in good faith, right? It's not like we're intentionally doing this. I'm so. Right as I begin to bow deeply and apologize, each other say stops me. You've forgotten the deal. Thank you. Yes, this time for real, let's start fresh. Okay? <laughs> okay? Arigato gozaimashita. Yeah, arigato gozaimashita. Kochira koso. Hmm? What? What now? Huh? Jino says suddenly covers the body and backs away from me. Uh, what's wrong? Why, why are you thinking, Rika? <laughs> Seems like unpleasant memories have surfaced in mind. They say the third time is a charm, so I'm... You sh... Masaya, you gotta shut up at this point. <laughs> this is really awkward. Oh shit. That's what it's all about. <laughs> now the thank you has, uh, is starting to haunt her. <laughs> Did you want to pretend it never happened? Hey, stop distracting me, Sean. I'm having a conversation with my beloved girl. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. We'll meet again, Rika. Oh, gotcha. Students from both schools line up across from each other before we part. This is our way of saying goodbye. Our club presidents are standing in front of each other right now. I think we're. We're close to the end of this uh, chapter 3 already, right? Yeah, so... Ah, Kanarazna! Kumi Aratro! Tishindo! 
ひなたじゃなくてこっちを見ろ<笑><笑>それではお互いにレイ Alright, okay, yeah, they're bowing to each other now. The both, the students of both schools. And with that, the curtain falls on our three day training camp with Takafuji Academy. Yeah, this has been a, a pleasant experience, yeah. Oh, she's. Oh, she's come to fetch. Yeah. Uh, students, right. Still, our training has come to an end. What do you mean? What am I saying? He's obviously talking about my over impression of the training camp. We all learned a lot, but I look around. You do it yourself, Sean. <laughs> It is. They are, they are, yes. I'll tell them! <laughs> well, I guess most of, la most of us learned a lot. Better to forget about those two. Misaki <laughs> senpai. Depressed? I don't. Well, I guess she kind of looks depressed, but I think it's more like she's starting to take this FC spot seriously now. Yeah. So it's like she isn't convinced. Like, like she has scored some points against Shindo, but it feels like it's not enough. Oh, spot on. He's dumb, dumb, Mashio. Right? You say you love her, huh? How can you love her when you don't understand her? Nice wing, Misaki. Yes, your senses are sharp, but not sharp enough to understand what Misaki is really feeling. <laughs> the fact that you're saying this makes it really creepy, though, Mashiro. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, nothing's wrong, I'm just looking at the rest of them. Oh, I'm just wondering if the training camp has changed anyone's mindset. I recall the words Shindo san said to me at the very end. Mm. Those words suit Shindo san. And honestly, he hit the nail on the head too. And I'll have a concrete goal for this year's summer tournament. But the question is, what does everyone else want to do? This isn't up to me. Well, you gotta talk to them. Yeah, figure out, figure out what they want. No matter what they decide, my job is to pour all my energy to support them. Yeah, that, that's true, yes. You have to lead them. Right. Well, I should just focus on getting a good night's nice rest once I get home. Hope I should note down everything I learned at Akafuji first. Kochi. Yes? What's up, Asuka? Ano, Something wrong? <laughs> oh, Asuka is really hard working right here. Our training camp literally just ended, but you want to keep going? Before she forgets, it's actually what she's saying, not before it's too late. That's not the right translation. Because she said, Wasurenai de. Yeah. 
Alright, because you said, okay, let's just listen again. Yeah, she said, Wasure nai uchini, that means before she forgets. Yeah, so, yeah, that's not the right translation, it's not too late, it's different, yeah? Okay, here is not exactly a line. She actually said, she's actually asking a question, right? Or oh, are you. Or oh, are you too tired? Yeah, it's not you don't have to. She didn't say you don't have to. She didn't say oh, uh, Tsukari, because if 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 we translate this line to this English line to Japanese, you'll be like, uh, Tsukari, Tsukariru, Nara, uh, uh, Ides, uh, Betsuni Idesu or something like that. Yeah, something like that. But she said, Yapari, Tsukariru desu ka? So, or oh, are you too tired? Yeah. Or training? Yeah, something like that. So not quite the right translation here either. I'm fine. Promise. My job is to help these girls grow wings. I'm glad you asked. Go we'll ask Misaki and Mashiro if they want to join us. Asuka Haridi flies off. Looks like the training camp up their motivation a ton. Eh? <laughs> of course, this too, yeah. Eh? What? Or maybe not. I mean, it's like after a long, after a long three-day training camp, you still want us to train? <laughs> Despite their complaints, Asuka gives me a hand signal to show that they have a group. All right, Asuka is the definitely the big motivator of this group. <laughs> Seems they're up for it. <laughs> Worth my time, yeah, definitely. I don't know if Masaya thinks that way, but it de is definitely it's definitely worth Masaya's time. We have to wait and see if it's just them getting caught up in the heat of the moment, though. Well, put that thought aside. Let's see. I need to decide what exercise to use before we get back to our training grounds. And that's it. End of episode three, Rivals. Oh, wow, wait, new song. All right, let's hear it. I certainly wasn't expecting another song, so we will get to see hear more songs like more songs. That's really cool, yeah. Now we see the next the preview of the next episode. Oh, not quite yet. Seems like epilogue first. Who's this though? And I hear some helicopter. Seems to be a foreigner. Nagasaki no Kuko 
珍しいですねあなたがそんなことああなるほど空気に慣れるためですねそれなら心配はいりませんこれからいくらでも飛ぶ機会がありますからうんそろそろ到着いたしますリリーナ様リリーユイナうん Who's this lady ユイナ I see the this This is a helicopter, right? Doesn't look like a helicopter to me, though. <laughs> oh, unless it's a large helicopter, but. Well, either way, this thing belongs to a company called Avalon. Wait, Irina? Why does this name kind of sound familiar? <laughs> oh, yeah, before I continue, earlier doing that, that latest trailer, not trailer, but the latest song, I see some new characters, so some new villains, so, oh, so called. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see those new villains. I think this might be one of those villains. It's arranging things for some person. We don't know who this person is. That will be our stage. You and this white hair girl. I'm guessing this one on the right is Irina. And this is some mysterious girl. They seem, they seem to come from another school, yeah. What's this foreshadowing? Looking forward to this day To do what? To take revenge? More like I think they want to conquer this This FC or something like that Oh, you say something like, Hi, Irina, but we still don't know her name. Oh, yeah, we see on the bottom right. Oh, incident. Wait, awkward. Oh, Mashiro wave. Mashiro wave. Mashiro wave thinks awkward. With Masaya? 